Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today's video is a case study on invoice generation cycle time reduction. So let's begin the video. In India, in MSME sector, there is a company that creates shafts that are used in the cars. For them, the customer contact center is a crucial process and their associates or agents, they used to take a lot of time to generate invoices. They were stretched for time to perform other important tasks like replying to the customer's queries and quotes and other daily operational activities. There are 14,500 plus invoices which are generated every year. So the team decided to do this as a project to reduce the invoice generation cycle time. The first thing that the team did was to create a project charter Project Charter has six elements. The first one is the business case. The second is the problem statement. Third is the goal statement. Fourth is the scope of the project. Fifth is the project schedule. And sixth is the team charter. The problem that the team identified, the process was too complex and time consuming because of which overall invoicing of the process was delayed. 59 minutes of agent's time was to populate the 50 inputs that the team has to fill in. There were different regions, they were using different manual templates and hence there was no standardization. And then the team took two goals. The first goal was to reduce the 59 minutes cycle time to 13.5 minutes by November 20. And they also wanted to increase the first pass yield from 51% to 100%. Team took eight step lean problem solving approach to solve this issue. The first step was to create the project charter and estimate potential business impact. Step two to four was to identify the various process steps, prepare data collection plan, collect data, document the current state and the future state. And from step five to eight, team has to prioritize the Kaizen, data analysis for the key causes and action workout and implementation. Then they will have pre and post analysis, control plan and benefit realization. I will not be able to show you the entire detail of the project, but I'll show you the important points. There was a cross functional team which was involved. The sponsor of the team was the sales director. The champion is the business service head. Mentor is the master black belt. There were SMEs and team members also which were part of this particular project. The next thing the team did was to create a current state value stream map. In this particular map, the first step is to find PO. The second step is to log the PO into the system and then create the manual invoice and add header. The next step was to add order lines. After that, they will have to save the details and generate the manual invoice. And then they have to reconcile all the important fields before sending the manual invoice email and print the invoice and send it to the collector. This was the entire end-to-end -end process. The cycle time and the wait time together was 59 minutes for this particular process. And the rolled first pass yield was at 51%. It means that there was a lot of rework happening in the process. Team also identified IT and non-IT Kaizens. IT Kaizens are marked in green and non-IT Kaizens are marked in red. There was also a rework loop when they had to add the order lines. So it was like to and fro of information from one end to the other end from the collectors to the customer contact center team. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is eight steps to problem solving, which talks about six Sigma concepts. And my second book is continuous improvement, the lean way, which talks about the lean concepts. So there were IT Kaizens like dependency on manual invoice templates in the local environment, manual recollection efforts with the system invoice or the PO before final manual invoice creation, manually enter order header details, manual entry multiple order line details, and agents have to manually calculate all tax percentages and order totals even for 100 lines. So that was a tedious process that was all identified as IT guidance. Team has to create all the automations for all these IT guidance and non IT guidance. All regions were using separate processes. They were outdated manual invoices and no standardization. 
process is not user friendly and no process to inform the collectors that all were non it guidance identified then team did kano analysis and they created kano model to identify what are the customer requirements and they divided these customer requirements for the automated tool into three different categories basic expectations satisfiers and delighters some of the basic expectations were one tool one database role based authentication solutions should be form based not script based process should be simple and flexible and there should be error detection and prevention the real time order details from the base system if team used to get that that was the satisfiers means more the merrier maximum fields to be auto populated in the tool the new tool and flexibility to add or remove new manual invoice templates as per there are new acquisitions if they are happening then the delighters were if the user access control is given aging report is provided and auto alerts to collectors and customized search if these features are added then it would be a delighter for the end users in order to standardize the form team used 5s as a lean tool the first thing that they did was to identify and eliminate all the unnecessary fields under sort and under set in order a sequence is designed and columns are set in defined order of importance under shine the team removed all the unwanted steps from the process they optimized the existing manual invoice creation process and they merged all the multiple steps as per the region under standardize they design and develop a new tool based on the architecture which was already decided and they had multiple level of validations put in place to minimize the human error they also created the training documentation for analysts and admins and they sustained the entire process by automating the system with correct logics in the improved state the rolled first pass yield has gone up to 100% and the lead time has been reduced to 10 minutes if you look at the right hand side all these mudas which were rework error and manual efforts they were removed from the system and the overall process efficiency was enhanced in pre post analysis the first pass yield of the process has improved from 51% to 100% and the overall cycle time or lead time you can say reduce from 59 minutes to 10 minutes against a goal of 13.5 minutes so this has also given the process efficiency gain of more than 70% total time saved per annum from this project is 11842 man hours how this was calculated the total time saved for one manual invoicing was 49 minutes total manual invoices created annually are 14500 and then the man hours saved per annum is 11842 which is equivalent to 6.5 resources so friends this is the overall benefit from this project eight step lean methodology was used i hope you would have understood how eight step lean methodology and various lean tools can be used together to solve a particular business problem i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends I'll see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts